we covered the female and male reproductive systems in the lab. And when I was talking about those lab models, I told you that there was a specific structure in the female reproductive system that's what we call like the female penis because they basically had the same embryonic development. Do you remember what it was that I referred as the female penis? The clitoris. And because the clitoris is the female penis, you can conclude that the clitoris would have the female erectile tissue that would behave like the male erectile tissue that gets engorged with blood, which is the main one giving the male an erection. Do you remember the name of the male erectile tissue that really gets engorged with blood? Corpus cavernosum. So when you keep those details in mind, you can conclude that if the clitoris is the female penis, and you know that a penis can have an erection, you can for sure conclude that the females can also have an erection. We know that the name of the tip of the penis is glands. So what would be the name for the tip of the clitoris? Glands. And we know that the tip of the penis, which is the glands, is covered by four, a foreskin that's anatomically named prepuce. So if you know you have the prepuce in the male covering the glands, would you expect to have a prepuce in female covering the glands in females? Yes. 